Okay, well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I want to start by expressing my sympathy for the Defense Department contractor who... Over the weekend, the Department of Defense continued to take aggressive action to surge personnel, capabilities, and equipment in support of President Trump's whole-of-nation response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Also, as the president announced yesterday, the hospital ship Mercy will deploy this week to Los Angeles. We're working closely with FEMA to set the conditions for the ship's arrival later this week so that she can start receiving non-COVID-19 medical patients to free up bed space in some of the LA's most heavily stressed hospitals. Be socially distant when they're standing. In the next couple of weeks, our other hospital ship, the Comfort, will head to New York City for the same purpose. The crew and staff are already making the necessary preparations for the upcoming mission. Concurrently, we have a number of military field hospitals and expeditionary medical units on prepared to deploy orders that will be moving out this week. The Army Corps of Engineers is also set to begin work to convert hotels, dormitories, and other buildings into temporary medical facilities across the country. So we have a number of hospitals uh, and medical facilities, uh, expeditionary mil medical facilities across all three services. We have put on what we call PTDO, prepared to deploy orders, five such units uh, that will be prepared to deploy. Uh, we will, of course, take our sourcing guidance from FEMA, but right now I anticipate sending a, a hospital to Seattle and a hospital to New York City. And beyond that, once that's confirmed, uh, we will look at sending to other places. And as necessary, we will continue to alert uh, units to prepare to deploy and then deploy them as appropriate. So that it can slow the spread of this disease. As this uh, virus ramps up and spreads, we'll obviously see more and more impact of persons in our ranks. Uh, I'm confident that while it may have some impact on readiness, it will not affect our ability to con uh, conduct our national security missions uh, both at home and abroad. So I'm very confident in terms of, again, the fitness, the health of our force and the uh, commander's ability to make sure they manage uh, our, our resources and our people. Treatment, and more broadly, you talked about some two field hospitals. 